Okay, everybody, thanks for visiting sammallory.com, or if you're on my YouTube channel, thanks for doing that. Um, today we're checking out the new Motu Microbook. Uh, it's a USB 1 interface. It's got two inputs, I'm sorry, four inputs and two outputs. Uh, there's the box, there's the interface. This is a XLR adapter that comes with it, and what you do is you pop it in here. It's a balanced microphone input and that gives you an XLR input. There's phantom power in here. There's a pad. Uh, I also tested it with Volta, which I'll show you in a moment. Volta is a voltage control plug-in. So you have to have a certain kind of cable to connect an uh, analog synthesizer to an interface. And the interface has to have uh, DC coupled outputs and only uh, Motu interfaces and RME Hammerfall that I know of have DC coupled outputs. And before the Microbook came along, the only way to use Volta was to buy uh, the Motu Ultralight, which was around 550 bucks or something. And now the, uh, the Motu Microbook is here to save the day. It's got DC coupled outputs and it's only 250 bucks. And uh, in the manual for Volta, they tell you that you need to have specific kind of cable. You need to have a TRS to TS cable. And it says if you don't have the right cable, you might fry your gear. So I created this monstrous thing uh, with all of my adapters and pretty much converted an XLR cable into a uh, TRS to TS. Look at that. There's adapters on the other end. And it sticks out of the back and it kind of looks like a uh, very scary contraption once that's all happening. Hey, might as well plug this in here. And while I'm at it, I'll plug that in there. And there you go. So let's try out Volta. Okay. Volta is a program that uh, sends control voltage out of an output on an audio interface. The CV control voltage goes into an analog synthesizer and triggers it and tells it to do stuff. Um, I've never used this kind of thing before. Um, this is the first time I've used it. I've had this analog synth for about six or seven years and I've never used a CV input until tonight, so I feel very good about that. Um, and I got Volta working. And this video is basically just to prove that Volta and the microbook are indeed compatible with one another and you can do it. So anyway, right now I've got trigger one set up. And you basically go through here and you can tell it to trigger the synth to do stuff. As you can see it kind of sounds like Morse code, really. This is the step sequencer in Volta. And as you can hear, what I've been able to do with it sounds kind of similar to the trigger. But, you know, you can hear that it works, so let's take a listen. As you can hear, you can, you know, tweak things here on Volta, and you can also turn your knobs and do your thing on your analog synth, and it's all happening together. So, I'd like to get to know this program a little bit better, but it's not going to happen tonight. So just so you know, uh, the Microbook and Volta, from Volta, they do work together. So there you have it. Enjoy, everyone. Enjoy your volts.